I don't reveal this very often, by the way, but my full name is Wanjera Longauer Buthia. So I definitely acquired one nickname that I kind of dubbed myself and it really took on with Fusers ever since I landed at Capital FM four years ago and that is Miss Ran Ran. Uh, my voice, I'm actually a pretty good singer. I used to be nasty at the French horn when I was a kid. Yeah, but then it was too cumbersome and big. I didn't want to deal with it all the time. <laughs> Um, I can't really play an instrument anymore. I used to be really good at the French horn. Um, probably could have gotten a uni scholarship on that, but alas, I gave it up. Here we are. And um, I, I can sing a little bit. That's like maybe the only instrument I can play, my voice. I'm just gonna say the Kenyatas and um, Tom Boya and um, Raylo Dinga, and that's where I'm gonna stop before I embarrass myself further. Kibuda Kibwana, Raylo Dinga, Wetangula, Martha Karua, Esther Pasares, um, the list goes on and on. Mudavadi, Sonko, um, Gideon Moy, um, I'm trying to think. Ruto, like, these are the people that a lot of people are talking about these days. You know, the guys who are always on the list. Yes, I learned a thing or two since I lived here in four years, I. Right? My best body feature, I suppose, I really like my birthmark. What I like most about my body is probably my birthmark by default. It, make, it makes me stand out, stand apart from everyone. I would consider myself single at the moment. No. I was supposed to skydive and I never got to because the winds were too rough. So something I really want to do because I have I'm very fearful of heights and I like to conquer fears. So one thing I would really like to do is I would like to skydive. I ended up doing some incredible things the last four years. I became kind of, you know, a travel host in addition to obviously being a radio presenter and like kind of the, you know, ultimate rocker fuser on the show. Um, and I also got to skydive. So I've actually checked off so many bucket lists. Anything you can do, I can do better. I can do anything better than you. Um, some really fun experiences and moments I always had with CFM and my CFM people was when um, we go away with each other because it's always hilarious. Um, whether it's in Melindy where I lost my phone within 10 minutes of arrival um, and had to take it like a champ and keep it moving because it wasn't coming back. That thing ended up like in like Dago or something by the way from Melindy. It was hilarious. Other than my fam. I would say like my friends, like a general answer is just my friends. I have a lot of, I tend to pick people in my life who will gel with me and will kind of fit like a puzzle piece and all those people are as much of a clown as I am. So it's about being silly. I mean yesterday I was talking to one of my friends on WhatsApp and we were just like sending each other hilarious voice notes back and forth. Mind you, he lives in the country. <laughs> Well, there was um, a really great clip of an interview that I saw the other day from Beyonce and some random interviewer. I don't remember who, I don't know who he is. He's not like Barbara Walters or something. But he asked, um, he asked her if there's a way that you want to be described, what is that way? And she said, a legend in the making. And he was like, wow, a legend. And she goes, I said in the making. So that's me. But I got kid money. I mean, I guess it's always better to start younger than later. I definitely would like to do that. But at the same time, like there's so many goals that I want to accomplish. Like that bucket list is long pookie, you know? So I just got to make sure I do a few more things before I start popping them out. I watched this really good flick last night. Got me a little in my feels. Maybe I was a little in my feels because you know today and everything. But um, it's called Tao. It's a Netflix film and Gary Oldman plays um, Tao, who is this AI machine that controls a house. And it's about a woman who gets stuck in this house controlled by the AI machine, and she must escape. It's a very, very interesting film, only about 90 minutes. It was quite good. 
My current weakness seems to freaking be takeout. I like don't know how, I like can't, I'm not cooking at home anymore and it's really making me angry. And you can see it, Shweddy got a little thick. Shweddy got a little thick since the last video. But you know, I'm not even mad. But still, I'm just like, oh my God, my insides, like I need to make sure that I'm eating healthy, you know? So I think takeout has been my weakness of late. Okay, a very memorable moment on air, but I've had so many best moments, was when um, a master illusionist from South Africa came and completely warped my mind, like did all these magic tricks in front of me. He took a perfectly good fork from our kitchen, like not a magical fork, nothing that he was trying to make up on his own or something, like that he pulled out of his pocket, and he bended it. He bended it? Guy, he bent it in front of me. I'm sorry, mother, that's that's good English there. He bent it right in front of me just by doing this, and I was like, he's magical. Um, so having him, Larry Sofer, I even remember his name, Larry Sofer, he was so dope. <laughs>